Hello, this is just a quick video to show sort of an ECU simulator setup uh, I was playing around with, but anyway, it's basically a really cheap and quick way to run an ECU outside a car, but with a little bit of a um, little bit of the control loop around. So what I have here is this is the ECU from an 06 Corolla. Um, so someone had wrecked one near me and I was able to pull a bunch of electronics from it pretty easily. Uh, unfortunately this ECU, it's pretty basic, it doesn't actually have a CAN interface on it. Um, it uses K-Line uh, for debug and stuff, or for the OBD2, which was a little disappointing. Uh, but anyway, it, it sort of made it easier because the connections to the thing are pretty straightforward. Um, at the same time, I actually pulled the immobilizer, what they call an immobilizer ECU. Um, it's a little control box that talks to the antenna um, with the RFID or whatever you want to call it inside the key. Um, so this will let me avoid having to do an immobilizer bypass. The other thing I have is an Arduino in the background here, and this is running, there's a Arduino library for simulating the crank and cam symbol, uh, signal, signals. And what I do is I pass them through a capacitor, um, so this is a 3.3 microfarad capacitor with a 1K resistor to ground, and that sort of uh, gives me a signal that's a little closer to what the output looks like, or at least in terms of being um, sort of zero reference. So rather than zero to five volts, it's around plus two to minus two volts. Um, and finally, I have some lights for the injectors in the back and the spark plugs in the front. Um, inside the little box here, I've just wired a power switch, and there's a relay, there's a, a separate power source that the ECU switches on and off, so I have the relay there. Um, I also have the full, so I just pulled the throttle body out at the same time, the advantage of wrecked car as I could get everything. Um, so I have the throttle body with the accelerator pedal, uh, so I've pulled just the sensor off the accelerator pedal there. Alright, so let's power it up. Um, and I'm just using a bench power supply here. Oops. Let's turn that off first. Alright, so the bench power supply is soon. Uh, I sort of cheated and the uh, the Arduino is already running in the background as soon as the, uh, the power is on. But anyway, if I turn the system power on, um, we see a few things. You see the the LEDs for the injectors and the spark plugs going, so this is indicating it's you know performing the control loop here. Uh, I haven't actually even bothered to put a bunch of other sensors here, so the the airflow sensor. Um, or oxygen sensor signals, which you can probably just put constant voltages in, so I, I'm pretty sure it's going to confuse the the system, and I'll f I find only certain RPMs seem to work. Uh, I assume because it's not seen some of those signals. The other thing here, so we have the throttle body, um, and what we should see is the accelerator pedal. Uh, we expect to, you know, change the, the throttle body setting. Uh, again, there's some sort of weird thing going on here. So I find, there we go, it doesn't always seem to work on power on. Um, but we can see this other, so here's, there should be basically a control loop for setting the, the throttle position. Uh, and you can see, so you have to be careful not to pinch your hands, but you know, it's actively controlling that. At the same time, we have the, um, yeah, the inje injector and spark plug or igniter signals going out there. So that's sort of a really basic um, simulator that gives you, you know, the output signals as well as some of the inputs um, to the ECU. The other thing you can experiment with is if you didn't pull the immobilizer, you know, what would happen? So if I remove the key, um, you know, there is for a lot of these ECUs immobilizer deletes you can do, uh, but if you don't have that, what you do, so let me power cycle it here. On this particular one, I found the, basically there, there'll be no, um, injector, the fuel injector signal seem to be cut off. So if I power cycle it. You can see for a second there seems to be some igniter, but then it seems to die down. Um, the throttle body, 
However, that is still operating. So you can see again it power cycle there. But I can still play with this. So depending on what you're doing, you may not care about that. But yeah, that's just a really simple, and the wiring harness here, I just, you know, hardwired everything between. Um, it's a pretty crappy uh, ECU setup, but I just wanted to show that because when I looked at this, I had seen there's a few, you know, commercial products that basically just provide these input signals. Um, but for the crank and cam, you can just use an Arduino with a ECU st simulator uh, library there that's already existing and it's quite nice um, and everything else you can just sort of wire together um, either with real things like I did or by feeding in uh, appropriate signals. So that's all.